Jim Carrey said something to the effect of, I wish everybody could get rich and famous so that they will know that it is not the answer. And we can see this when we look at the lives of many people who are wealthy, rich, successful, who manage to attain the things of this world and yet still are unsatisfied, unfulfilled, unhappy, sometimes to the point that they take their own lives, that they indulge so much into excess that oftentimes they overdose. Human beings who are happy, who are content, who are fulfilled, who are connected, don't often fall into these vices of excess and indulgence to the point sometimes that it costs people their lives. So Andrew Tate, our brother Andrew Tate, now that he has become a Muslim, now that he has converted to Islam, has many times now consistently been saying that hedonism is a black hole. That hedonism is a black hole and it leads to nowhere and to nothing. Oh, perhaps it was a bit extreme, but I've always known that they're trying to give us false idols to some degree. And when I speak to atheists, Atheists say, oh, I don't believe in God, but they, they've signed up so hard to the liberal woke agenda. They're yeah. as religious as anybody, but they're just believing in the wrong things. They're believing in degeneracy and they're believing in the work of the devil. So humans always need something to believe in. And it's a great thing you said about your own desires. It's like one, one guy I was talking to since my conversion says, it's interesting that somebody with everything, all the Western world, yeah, everything, yeah. everything somebody w could want exactly. has now converted. And I said, yeah, because even before my conversion, I understood that hedonism is a black hole mm. and you can never fill it. Mm -hmm. You're never going to be able to have enough girls to be happy with girls. You're never going to be able to have enough money to be happy with money. You're never yeah, going to yeah. be, be able to, you know, drink enough to be happy with drinking. Like it's a black hole and you can pour endless things down it, but you'll never fill it up. And you need to have some degree of self-restraint. And I've always been a very disciplined person. I've never made mistakes, but certainly, yeah, the higher power is, is, is going to give you more satisfaction in your heart than... Endless, so endless we pray insane. that Allah Almighty, that our Lord, the Creator, the one God, the, the one, one God that created Adam and revealed himself throughout the centuries, throughout the millennia to the prophets of humanity, from Abraham to Moses to Jesus to the last and final messenger of God, the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings upon them all. We pray that he Almighty will continue to guide Brother Andrew Tate, to guide all of us and to guide those who are seeking, to guide you to goodness, to excellence and to purpose. There is a hole in the heart of every human being, a void, an emptiness. There is something in the depths of every human being in their heart that cannot be filled by anything of this world. There's a part of our hearts and souls that are seeking return and reunion, reconnection with our Creator, with our Source, that is seeking its journey home, the source of all love, all strength, all power, all peace. And the more that we attempt to fill that aspect of ourselves, the deepest part of ourselves with the things of this world, it will only lead us further and further into descent and into decay and ultimately into depression. Now, Andrew Tate, mashallah, he's a very intelligent guy. He knows what's up. He knows what's going on. And even though he has and he's attained pretty much everything that he could possibly want from this world, he's realized it is not enough. He realizes that it is empty, that it is vain, that it leads to nowhere. And so now he has turned towards God, towards faith. Because the truth is that it is only with the power, with the support of our Creator, with connection to the divine that we can awaken from this matrix. What in Arabic is known as dunya, this world of illusion, this world of appearances, this world that cannot tell you who you are. Your identity, our identity comes from beyond this world. It is a timeless and eternal truth and reality when our souls were created in the divine presence of Allah Almighty. And the more that we seek to find ourselves in this world, we will be led nowhere, chasing our own tails, lost in the desert, going nowhere, attaining nothing, Evolve. not evolving, not growing, not transcending, not awakening. Remember that the world, the dunya, the matrix cannot tell you who you are. Your identity comes from beyond. And each human being was created to be a servant, a deputy, a vicegerent, a representative of the divine. That means to become such an awakened human being that the light of God fills and is transmitted through the human being within creation. The things of this world lead us towards density and into darkness. Yet that which is divine, that which is spiritual, connected to spirit, leads us beyond this world into the realms of light, into connection with light, and again to who we truly are. And that is the path to the awakening of human potential. We're so much more than this dense matter. The more that we try to fill our hearts and our souls, our lives with the density of this world, with the attachments, with the allurements, with the indulgences of this world, it only increases density in the soul to the point that we sink and we ultimately lose ourselves. And this is the meaning of the great prophet Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. When the devil tempted him, according to the scriptures, according to the gospels of Jesus, as recorded by the different 
narrators in the New Testament, right? The devil, according to the Testaments, tempted Jesus and said, I will give you all of these, the kingdoms of this world. I will make you Lord and King of all of them. But however, bow down and worship me. And Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, said, For what shall it profiteth a man were he to gain the entire world and yet lose his very soul? Brother Andrew Tate, now that he's nearing the age, or he's at about the age of 40, this is the age in which human beings are considered to become mature, to become men. This is the exact age when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, peace be upon him, received revelation, received the wahi, as he was meditating in the cave of Hira. This was the age in which he made the connection to the divine. It doesn't mean we have to wait till we're 40, but oftentimes this is the point where human beings begin to truly begin to wake up. And after having attained anything he could possibly want from this world, Andrew Tate realizes this isn't it. This goes nowhere. It leads to nothing. And now he is, by his own words, seeking to serve a greater purpose, to do good in the world, to serve a greater divine purpose. May Allah keep him on the path. And may Allah Almighty keep all of us on the path and guide us to the path, guide us to his will and to that which is best for us, for that which we were created. The more that we fill our hearts and our souls with the things of this world, while we are disconnected from our source, from our creator, from the light of the divine, we will only make ourselves sick. It will never be enough. We will need more and more just to feel, just to experience, and it will never be sufficient until the point that we drown, until we drown ourselves in this world and it takes our soul, it takes our life, or we get to the end of our lives never having awoken, never having connected with our purpose, with brothers and sisters in faith and in humanity. Each of us has been created with a divine purpose to connect with and to know our Creator because that is the source of our strength. Just like these phones, just like these gadgets, for example, right? These things need to be connected every day to their source of power so that they can recharge and function. In the same way, we as human beings need to reconnect constantly to our source so that our souls can be filled with light, with energy, with power, with connection from the divine so that we can function. When we lack that connection, our energy becomes depleted, becomes weak, we become sick, we become depressed. It's light that awakens the heart, that gives life and sustenance to our hearts and souls. Just like these phones and gadgets have to charge their batteries, we have to charge our souls. We have to connect with cellular energy. There was an interesting film, an animation, done years ago called WALL-E, about a little robot that had to charge his solar energy level. And you could see this little meter of solar energy rising and falling, right? And as he was able to charge his cellular energy, and this took place, this was actually placed on his solar plexus right here in the center of his chest. This is where we connect with our heart to the presence of the divine. As this little cartoon character, Wally's solar energy, right? Solar energy would charge, the meter would go up. We're the same way. And funny enough, his name was Wally, which in Arabic is Wali. This is the term that is used in the Quran to refer to those human beings who have attained to their divine purpose. They're known as the friends of God, the saints. Those who have awakened, whom Allah Almighty refers to in the Quran as awliya. The they singular are. of awliya is wali. A wali is one who has connected with the divine and who has transcended the illusion of the world. And regarding them, Allah Almighty says that upon them there is no fear nor grief. They have transcended suffering. Brothers and sisters, it is for this that we have been created, to move in that direction towards connection with our source, connection with the divine. This is just a brief reminder, a brief video and perhaps for some of you coming across this the first time you're connecting with my content, the purpose of which is to remind us of who we are, why we are here, where we are going. We're here on this earth for a very short time. And the point, the goal is to awaken while we are still here and to prepare our souls for eternity by strengthening the connection with the presence of light, with the divine presence of God, Allah Almighty, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So in the words of our newfound brother, Andrew Tate, hedonism is a black hole. It leads nowhere. It will only take us further and further away from who we truly are. We're here to awaken. And I pray that Allah Almighty keeps us on the path, on the path of truth, on the path of light, on the path of sincerity, the straight path that leads to His divine presence of light. May we seek to follow to the best of our abilities in the footsteps of the prophets and messengers of God who were sent to illuminate and enlighten the path so that humanity cannot be lost, so that humanity can rediscover and reconnect with the purpose of their creation and their existence. I hope you enjoyed this brief reminder and more importantly, I hope that you benefit. Please subscribe if you have not yet done so. Hit the notification icon as well so you'll be notified when new content is published. And please like and share this video as well. Share it with somebody that you think may benefit from this reminder. And lastly, head over to the website, 
where I've got extensive resources to support you on your path of awakening and of remembering who you are and why you are here. May Allah Almighty support you and myself. May He Allah support us all, especially in these times of tremendous darkness and density. May we remain connected to the path to your divine and eternal success. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Once you realize that hedonism is a black hole and that you can pour endless attempts at filling it, hedonism is a black hole. And if you're going to live that way, you're never going to feel satisfied. You have to genuinely decipher, be perspicacious enough to look around you and work out what you think the world needs and then try your very best to fulfill God's will to make the world a better place. I like, I like doing things that make me feel good inside because I know it pleases God. I,